This tiny teach is about the AIMS test. Numerous chemicals in food, the workplace, and the environment have been suspected of being carcinogenic mutagens, that is, of causing mutations that result in cancer. Because animal tests to prove that they are indeed carcinogenic are expensive and time-consuming, researchers have used a fast and inexpensive method for screening mutagens called the AIMS test. An AIMS test uses a mutant salmonella bacteria possessing a point mutation that prevents the synthesis of the amino acid histidine. This is important because bacteria need all of the 20 essential amino acids to be able to build proteins. So by having this bacteria, this his-negative salmonella, this means that the bacteria can't build proteins unless you provide histidine in the media. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this his-negative salmonella, this bacteria that can't produce the amino acid histidine, and we're going to plate it onto media that doesn't have histidine in it. What we, we would expect then is that the bacteria would not be able to grow. It can't produce histidine, one of the 20 essential amino acids, which means it can't make protein, and we didn't give it any histidine. So it can't make protein, so it should not be able to grow. To perform the test, these his-negative mutants are mixed with liver extract and the substance suspected of being a mutagen. The presence of liver extract simulates the conditions in the body under which liver enzymes can turn harmless chemicals into mutagens. And then this is spread onto media that does not contain histidine. What we would expect is no colonies growing on this media that does not contain histidine. If there is colonies on this his-negative media, then what's happened is this chemical substance has reversed the original point mutation. So the AIMS test actually reveals that the suspected substance is mutagenic in salmonella because it reversed the original point mutation. It actually reversed the original point mutation. Now that's why we see colonies growing because now these bacteria can actually synthesize histidine. And given that DNA in all cells is very similar, the ability of a chemical to cause mutations in salmonella indicates it's likely to cause mutations in humans as well. Some mutations cause cancer, so a mutagenic chemical may also be carcinogenic. To prove a substance can in fact cause cancer, scientists must test it in laboratory animals, a process that's usually warranted only if a chemical is mutagenic in salmonella. AIMS testing decreases the cost and time required to assay chemicals for carcinogenicity in animals.